In fact, let's Glenn Grayson this morning from Aruma Resources. Glenn, morning. Morning. Thanks for having me. As you point out in the announcement this morning, Glenn, an important step forward here for uh, your Fiery Creek project in Queensland. Uh, the geophysics surveys, a number of these surveys now underway. Just tell us a bit more about them and what you're hoping to learn. That's right. So we put our release a couple of weeks ago about Piper, which is a prospect that MIM worked on in, in the early 90s that had uh, some rock chip samples and some uh, drilling with consistent uh, copper grades down it. Uh, some work I did uh, earlier in the a uh, couple of months ago, had some rock chip samples with some really good grades of copper, but also some really elevated antimony. So that got us a bit of attention. And lucky enough to get some crews that could get in and do a geophysical survey um, pretty quick and before uh, the current wet season starts. So, yeah, a uh, crew in there doing gravity, and they'll do also do the, the IP survey. And what information are you hoping to learn from these surveys? Yep, so gravity... Uh, tells you if the rocks are, are dense or not. Um, that's important with mineralisation in that obviously the sulphide's dense, but also the alteration systems around these deposits are dense. So if you find some denser rocks where you're not expecting to find denser rocks, um, that's, a, that's a good place to certainly start drilling or look for, for some copper. Uh, but the IP survey itself over Piper, um, that is looking for a conductor. And the the Interesting thing about Fire Creek is it's never had these kinds of surveys done. Um, historically, for whatever reason, the majors never did it. Uh, the the resolution of the gravity there at the moment is four kilometre space stations, and these two uh, gravity surveys over Piper itself and Fire Creek, uh, four hundred metre space lines, one hundred metre space stations. So it does give us a, a much better resolution. And the beauty of ground gravity is you you can infill that. Um, and it is acquiring the same data, but it just gives you more resolution. So um, that'll be the plan going forward is to expand these surveys as well. Glenn, you mentioned a bit earlier about some of those results from initial surface sampling. Just give us a quick recap on, on the numbers you saw. Yep, so the, the Piper was consistently um, double-digit copper, so 10, 11, up to 12% copper. Um the Mount Isa drilling in 1992 and 94 come up with um, the best result was six metres at 0.6% copper. And they didn't follow that up with any any further drilling or any um, geophysics either on, on ground or downhole. So that's pretty exciting for us. Um, we did get a 1% antimony uh, in a rock chip sample as well. Um, not sure what that means yet, but we'll certainly look into that. And um, yeah, it's just really exciting first prospect um, of the, the new project that we walk into and there's our cropping copper on the ground. So, Would you expect some co-funding for for some of the work you've got planned? Yep, so we'll certainly apply for it. Um, the Queensland Government are keen to to keep Mount Isa going really well, so with the announcement of Glencore starting to shut down, um, particularly geophysics. So we will certainly ask for some help with the geophysics and that application will get done later this year. Um, getting some help from the global discovery guys there. They're, they're pretty good at doing that. Um, so hopefully, yeah, and, and the plan with that would be to expand the gravity survey over the whole lease as well as um, fly a, a, a really good resolution magnetic survey as well. So as far as the, the final quarter of the year, Glenn, what kind of news can we expect to hear from you? Uh, so it'll be the results of the, the, the geophysics surveys um, that'll come out. Also been doing some uh, surface sampling at Saltwater up near uh, Newman. Um, so that's underway at the moment as well. So, you know, whatever interesting information we get out of that as well. Um, and then uh, my project at Salmon Gum. So the crops will be in late November and I'll, I'll start to work down there. So. Hey, good to speak, Glenn. Thanks very much. No worries. Thanks, Andrew.